Good evening, beautiful beings. Welcome back to Spiritual Self Mastery, episode 29 of The Journey. Journey. I may look a little tired. I had a big week and, I mean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a little stressful when you make big changes in your life, when you completely jump into the unknown, into completely uncharted territories, you know, and just go for it. Go for your dreams, you know. And it's exciting and stressful at the same time. So anyways, let's update on what's been happening. So literally right now, it's uh, what, almost 10 p.m. here in Ontario, Canada. It's getting a little late. I only have less than two days actually because it's 10 p.m. So I'm leaving in literally two days from now on Saturday at 7, 15 p.m. So yeah, I don't know when it's gonna, it's gonna be my next update, but uh, I will definitely uh, make a little bit of shooting, uh, you know, on my, you know, as I arrive to the airport and everything, but I will probably upload only once, uh, either in between the airports or uh, once I'm at my final destination the day after, because I won't get a lot of sleep until I actually get to Peru. So, uh, you know, because of the timings of my flights and my layovers. Because uh, I got two layovers in the States, right? So I'll fly from Toronto Pearson Airport in Ontario, Canada to uh, Charlotte, USA, and then Miami, USA, and then boom, to Lima, Peru. So yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it's almost been two minutes. Let's update. Let's update. Okay, so. I've been up, up, uh, uploading my USB keys. So, little U encrypted USB keys right here. So, I got both of them that I needed. So, one's going to be with me on my travels. So, you know, it has a very specific seven digit code <laughs> that nobody can crack. <laughs> so, my information is secure. And I'm going to leave here one here at home you know, at family. So if there's anything they can, you know, they'll have the code and they'll be able to open it up and at least have access to my important uh, information. So all my banking information is on there, my friends, okay? So all my banking information, uh, all of my cards, you know, uh, front and back, uh, all of my important cards, my passport is there, my birth certificate, all of that important information. I also load it up onto a, an encrypted cloud. I personally, so here's my advice for you guys, is to use Ice Cloud. <laughs> okay, so Ice, is it called Ice Cloud? Let's, let me see, real quick. Ice Drive, yes, Ice Drive, right? You can kind of see here the little logo? Anyways, yeah, so that's what I use. It's much better, uh, in my opinion, especially price-wise than, um, you know, Dropbox, Dropbox, they just charge exorbitant fees. Uh, and, you know, I really like the services Ice Drive gives me, to be honest. And by the way, all the different companies and everything, this is just from my own personal research. And, you know, I'm just trying to share to help other people, you know, that may be going through the same things and that are following the journey. And I mean, I'm not sponsored by anyone, to be honest, guys, like I'm way too small of a channel to be sponsored by anyone yet. <laughs> My channel will grow in due time. I mean, YouTube on around 200 subs. TikTok, uh, I mean, I'm like what, 1400 or something, 1300. I mean, it's getting, it's getting good, it's getting good, but you know, everything in due time, right? Anyways, so yeah, so Ice Drive, okay, highly recommend. Uh, I use it all the time to actually load videos, from one platform to another, especially when I look to TikTok and I edit on my computer and then upload onto my cell phone, through the cloud, anyways, and then onto TikTok. Anyways, you know, just some little timbits here and there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uploaded the encrypted USB keys. Uh, uploaded on the, um, you know, the encrypted cloud. Also, tonight, I haven't finished it yet. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is a very, very cheap MP3 player. I bought at a flea market for like 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, 
only for 20 bucks and I got like the little memory card that goes with it. So I'm going to upload that tonight, very late tonight. All my mantras, all my mantras and my daily affirmation videos directly on there. I'm gonna be in the middle probably of the freaking jungle Amazon, in the Amazon, and I'm gonna be listening to an IMP3 player. <laughs> That's probably power through the, you know, some solar panels or something over there, who knows, you know? So anyways, yeah. Okay, let's update on the rest of the journey. So, okay, let's go upstairs. Unfortunately, my friends, I was not able to fully pack light because a lot of items were actually demanded to be brought at that center that I want to go to that I don't even know if I'm gonna be accepted or not yet, but I still want to bring extra stuff. Um, you know, I got absolutely spoiled by family members that were just helping me, you know, prepare for some extra things that they just wanted me to be more prepared. So. I'm only blessed, uh, thankful to the universe and always be thankful to all the blessings that happens you know, in your life because everything is a blessing. It's always a matter of perspective. And the more you align yourself with gratitude and love and respect and just pure, pure happiness and thankfulness and gratefulness to everywhere, everything that happens to you, good and bad, and always try to learn a lesson out of it. Once you do that, life becomes magical. So this is a dry bag. I got a little fire starter, a little whistle here, a little, uh, I don't know, a little uh, mirror, uh, some straps. Oh yeah, <laughs> to protect from mosquitoes. I'm also gonna bring, I'm gonna have to buy uh, some rubber boots because in the jungle, sometimes you walk and there's a lot of water and everything. So I'm gonna have to pack that. So because of that, I won't be able to just bring my backpack. It's gonna be my backpack plus my other big bag, unfortunately, because I'm going to bring a lot of books because I have to learn some spiritual material as I'm learning about the spirit world with the shamans and everything in the Amazon. And I also need to learn about different things. I want to learn about astral projection. I want to learn more about Reiki. I want to learn more about so many different things. Okay. So it's going to be awesome. So yeah, got the backpack right here. This my friends is a very small 12 inch. You can believe it. 12 inch freaking laptop. <laughs> this is a 12 inch laptop I bought to bring on my travels. Okay. Uh, what else, what else, what else am I bringing? Oh yeah, I got some ropes here in case I need to strap some extra things onto my bag. And then I got a lot of stuff. People are gonna be like, man, you bring way too much stuff. Well, at least I'm gonna be more prepared. It's gonna be maybe a little bit of a hassle to bring all that stuff around, but I will not, that's why I won't stay in hostels as I'm going over there, cause I'm not just backpacking. Uh, cause my first year at least of traveling, I want to do I won't be traveling much. I want to actually become a shaman. So yeah, we'll see if the apprenticeship works or not. Anyways, so got spoiled by family, bought like a used GPS tracker. So if I ever get lost in the woods or something, who knows? I got a lot of books about expats, about, you know, learning Spanish, about the future, uh, different things. Oh yeah, I had to bring a lot of like a note notepads to actually write a lot of different things that are going to happen during my ayahuasca ceremonies. You know, during my visions and everything I'm going to see is going to be great, but I'm going to have to write down some things so I don't forget. And also uh, to help to uh, put on paper what I'm seeing and transfer it into some valuable knowledge that can help all of you guys. And who knows, maybe I'll, I'll write a book at some point with it, right? <laughs> so yeah, so I got a lot of different things. Uh, oh yeah, I brought uh, some, uh, you know, just some, some clothes, a little bit of tea, but it's mostly deodorant, tooth, natural toothpastes, uh, shampoo, and natural soaps for at least uh, many, many months. So I won't have to do many, many different trips back in town as I'm stuck at a retreat center. I'm, I won't be stuck because it's learning, it's knowledge, it's cool. <laughs> I'm confident I'm gonna get accepted, my friends, woo! And I also bought this camera, <laughs> a Sony, a Sony Cybershot uh, X-H, 
HX300. Anyways, yeah, a Sony Cybershot for $150 on Facebook Marketplace from someone. So you can always buy used stuff without paying crazy fees to buy something brand new. Why not recycle? When I bought it, okay, it was a girl that was the, the, the mother that sold it to me, told, her to, told me the story, and it was basically a girl. Her, her daughter basically went into school, university, for, uh, you know, like a picture, uh, like a photograph, photograph type degree, right? But she only did a year and then she dropped out and she wasn't interested. So they didn't need the, uh, you know, the camera anymore, but it's still very high quality camera. You can find so many different things. So stop buying brand new stuff, I'll buy used. Just try not to get ripped off, okay? <laughs> also my friends, what did I do? I completed my power of attorney while well, completed. I've printed the form, uh, entered all the information through a Canadian website, but there's probably a lot of websites for the United States and other places worldwide, okay, for all of you watching. <laughs> okay, so I personally used uh, CanadianLegalWills.ca. Uh, That's the one I paid. So it's much cheaper than, uh, if that's if you want to do your will, you know, your testament, or, uh, you know, uh, giving the power attorney in case you become incapacitated, or, uh, you know, and becomes you, you know, in case you become a vegetable, or you, you can't, you can't do anything, right? And somebody else, someone else from your family actually takes over, right? So anyways, so that's the, the website I went to. Uh, that's just for my family to be able to actually speak in my name if there's any important matters, which you know there's all always some right uh, when it comes to tax uh, taxes to do the taxes yearly right or uh, or even sell my car because that's another thing right I could not sell my car lately I've tried my best to sell a top dollar but it's hard it's hard I kept getting low low ball offers I refuse to refuse and now we're getting closer and closer now I'm kind of stuck right so it's either accept a very low ball offer for my car sale which they offered me I don't know if I should share just four grand for a car I bought 16 grand five years ago I mean but the current market value is around 12,000 but I do have some car issues with my car right now and I'm being very upfront I'm not hiding anything to anyone trying to buy it, which does scare some potential buyers off because I'm being honest. I'm like, hey, there's a check engine on, but because of this problem, and I know what the problem is. I went to the to the garage multiple times and even plugged in the machine to know exactly what it is. I'm not hiding anything, and I'm not selling a car to someone who's not aware of the issue, okay? So he's very aware of my check engine and uh, the timing chain that needs to be changed which is a $1,500 fix on my car. So yeah, so that's why it takes a little longer. So my power of attorney that I've, uh, that I've uh, just printed out a little bit earlier, and I will make a sign. Basically, you can go, I went on that website, okay, Canadian Legal Wheels, and it cost me $300 for lifetime updates on anything regarding my will or anything regarding uh, power of attorney or uh, a lot of different services also that they include lifetime warranty like anytime they'll always take care of it they employ a bunch of lawyers and there's multiple multiple websites my friends that can actually do that for you and you'll save a bunch of money instead of paying thousands of dollars through you know <laughs> uh, through lawyers which will charge you crazy amounts well guess what a lot of websites now they have a team of lawyers that they employ, so it costs a lot less money, so they process more people altogether. So you can do that, that's what I did. It cost me like, yeah, it could have cost me just $130 if I would have wanted to, but I decided to have the lifetime thing. So my will, power of attorney, everything is always covered for the lifetime with that website and that company, so that's great, okay? So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make that uh, sign tomorrow with uh, my father to give him the power of attorney on my app during my absence. And also we need uh, two different witnesses. So you need two separate witnesses that aren't, I believe, associated directly with the family to, you know, to assess that yes, you know, there's this common agreement of a power of attorney. Anyways, 
So yeah, so more updates to come. Have a beautiful day, my friends. And this is the end of the journey, episode 29. Have a great day. Much love to all of you. Woo! Sprinkles of beauty!